I get up in the morning, four, four in the morning. Uh, I get up and run, fresh air. Hey, sweet home Alabama, fresh air in the morning. Ain't too many cars up and moving. There's clean air. You got the road to yourself. So it's the best time to do running for me. Born and raised in Lakeland, Florida. You know, they eventually just made my way to Birmingham on the Greyhound bus. I'm a small engine mechanic. Uh, fixing it on, you know, lawnmowers, weed eaters, blowers, chainsaws, ride lawnmowers, uh, master mechanic. I've uh, been doing it probably 17 years. You know, we rent Bobcat. Uh, we offer towing, we got a tow truck. So, you know, we do a little, a little of everything. Quite simple name. Bullet Hands came from. I was a boss, and I used to have a name, uh, Africa Dare. You know, that used to be my first name. But Bullet Hands came from. He was like this boy fast. Man, he's so fast, and we hit him. Damn near key. So that's that's how we came with the name. What, 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 when he hit you, it's fast, and it almost kill your bullet. After high school in, in uh, Florida, wasn't doing that. Thought I'd get out of there and come to Birmingham. Had a sister living here. Uh, moved in with her. Thought I'd come to Birmingham. They say Birmingham was the magic city. So I came to the magic city and showed up his magic. He my right hand man. <laughs> Drive the tow truck, uh, deliver the bobcat, pick up the rattle. Ride lawnmowers, deliver them, operate my bobcats on job site if we need them. You know, and then he's a mechanic too, he can fix them. You know, I took him to the gym, uh, try to spread them out. You know, all the kids want to play football, basketball. Uh, one kind of try to do like Mr. Williams did with uh, Serena and Venus, you know, spread them out, put his girls in tennis, want to try to uh, put my son, he was good you know, in old sports, basketball, football, but I uh, want to try something different. Ooh, now I know who I know who blink. Well, what made me want to fight was my dad. I was fighting school a lot. It's fine, just fine. So he took me to the gym. His coach worked with me. You know, I came over that concept of why fight for free. You know, if I fight, you know, put it towards something. So that's how I got into a box. You know, fighting in school. I mean, boxing, you know, boxing, you know, just a great sport individual. You know, uh, when, you're in, when you're in that ring, you know, you, uh, no teammates, so you can't, can't turn around and point no finger. Uh, so, uh, a good individual sport to be in. Teach how to fight, <laughs> protect yourself at all times. You definitely develop a, a no fear attitude because, you know, you're in shape, you can defend yourself, so uh, you don't have to walk around timid. You know, so build your self-esteem. Actually, I have super motivation. I have a son who's nine months. That just adds fuel to the fire. Um, that's why I say shot Kevin Gates on get tired. Hey, what is tired? I got my mouth. I got his mom out of me. I got my mom out of me. My dad out of me. So I, I just feel like I got a lot of miles to feed sisters and nieces. So yeah, I feel like you know everybody doing okay, but I want us to be better. Right here, right here. I, I grew up in a foster home. So, you know, my parents, you know, uh, they were young when they, we was about five of us, so we ended up, we ended up being taken from our parents. And then in that foster system, that's all you do as a kid. You know, you just work. You know, they, you come home, school, other kids out in the streets playing, whatever. We got work to do. Definitely got that same work at, you know, we were raised by, by somebody that liked the work. You know, so he couldn't be lazy. So he tough, uh, he a go-getter. So uh, we, we can't see, we don't see nothing stopping. Boxing, don't take number one point. We can ask what's the best point of boxing, the best point of boxing, the one that land, and get somebody out of there. So you can catch somebody, 
Two seconds left. I ain't over to the bell. So I, I know the fight is never over with. And I also know that person here. You know, somebody got three arms I get in the ring with. I'm trying twice. But as long as you got two arms, you bleed how I bleed. You know, so it's, 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 it's possible, you know. And another thing, I don't think it's uh, possible to strike. It's true. That's so, uh, yeah, motivation. So don't sleep on it. I don't care what. I don't care what round it is. I'm counting. Ooh. <laughs> uh, uh, he, he, he's, he's, he's one of the uh, top boxers uh, in the country uh, for his uh, prospect coming up, up and coming young fighter, next generation. He right there with him. The guys that's out there already that uh, the world know about, he, he was with them uh, in the amateur rank. So he, he done followed him. You know, all these guys coming up together. Uh, little hand is just kind of like hidden right now. Well, actually, I don't want to get too hyped, but I'm going to be hyped. Uh, if you're 154 pounds, die. The money right you bring them, I take them. And I, and I'm not even a contender. I don't care if you're a prospect, contender, or world champion, no company. Matter of fact, you're great. And I'm long. We in the lawnmower series, and I just got a tune up in my blade, child. I'm coming to cut some stuff up. I'm coming to clean some stuff up. That's the bottom line. I look at them, and they stand in my way of my family. You got to move. You move it, you cut. You cut some stuff up. Cause lunch, you come with. For the winner.